So this week, as many of us in Australia and New Zealand and in certain other corners of the world steadily progress back to work, back to our workplaces, back to the cities, the question that I'd like us to think about and explore is what kind of cultures do we want to create as we, in my preferred mode, move forward rather than returning back? And it, what I'm going to be referencing today and in the next couple of conversations is a piece of research that we commissioned earlier this year that had some really startling insights around culture at an organizational level in Australia. But what was interesting was that they were very consistent when we also looked at organizations in the UK, in America and also in Singapore. And in particular, in terms of culture, there were four standout challenges for cultural obstacles that were essentially holding these organizations and their leaders back from doing the great work that they really want to go out and do. These four challenges were scarcity based thinking, having a fear based culture, a pronounced lack of agility and what the researcher who we commissioned referred to as cultural disintegration. Essentially, these four things were largely consistent in various guises and with different language at times used, but ultimately all describing the same thing. Cultures where leaders would consistently refer to a lack of, lack of resources, a lack of time, a lack of energy, a lack of willpower perhaps, to make change and to do things in a newer, different, better way. Or a culture where every time an idea or a suggestion was put forward, it was not only dismissed and put down, but really it was done so in such a way that it created this culture of fear, which meant that people would be too afraid to make a suggestion or a recommendation, no matter how significant they thought it was. And the lack of agility really for the most part was an inference from an unwillingness to consider change a viable option. And this sort of systemic, almost institutional resistance to doing things differently because that had never worked here, or we've always done things this way, or we tried that before and it didn't work, so we're not gonna try it again. Which again, sounds very much like scarcity-based thinking and potentially like fear-based culture. So as you can see, these are clearly all intermeshed. And the last one, cultural disintegration, is essentially a lack of integration. And what in a number of the organizations we sampled was a really pronounced influence was a senior leadership function, quite often at a global level and sometimes isolated geographically, but not necessarily, that really had very little connection to or idea what was going on. So connection to or idea what was going on at the operational level in the market. And, and the combination of these challenges and the compounding effect was clearly disabling from a cultural level. So the question that I have and what I'd really be interested in your thoughts and comments on is, do we have an opportunity as we now transition beyond the COVID crisis and into the beginnings at least of the post COVID world, do we have an opportunity to do things differently? And if in particular you are working in an organization that was feeling the effects of any of those four cultural impacts or influences, do you think that there's an opportunity now to do things better? I'm going to be discussing this tomorrow and on Thursday around client experiences and my own personal experiences with these. I hope you'll join me there.